Hello and welcome to an uh, introduction video on Maya blend shaping uh, plugin. So this plugin is going to be able to allow you to use your layers as a blend shape mode to send automatically over into Maya. So once your blend shape plugin is installed, you will be going to Z plugs. I'm going to click this little circle just to send it over here into my tray right above my tool palette. So as you see I'm going to have a new plugin called Maya Blend Shapes. So how do we install this plugin? So really quickly, under my applications tabs within the Macintosh side, uh, within the Windows side you're going to be going in your program files uh, folder. If you're a 64-bit it'll be a program files x86 folder and you're going to find your ZBrush 4 main folder, which would be under a pixel logic folder within Windows. Once you open this, you got your root files. Remember all plugins for ZBrush will go into the Z startup folder because you want them to launch at startup and into your Z plugs. As you can see I have all my plugins here as well as the new plugin which is your blend shape export and your blend shape data folder. So just make sure you have those installed and you will now have the Maya Blend Shape plugin at launch. So how does this plugin work? So if you notice I have a tool here in edit mode ready to be sculpted on and changed. As you also can see I have multiple sub tools for this model but I really only want to focus on the top two which is the head and the eyes. And if you notice I've already applied two layers so I have a little smirk on him and I also have his eyes closing. So I have two layers that I want to bring over into Maya and act as blend shaping. So let's walk through what these buttons can do for you in the blend shape. So the first button is a new layer. So if you notice within my layer palette I have two. The minute I click on this we're automatically going to create a new layer for you. So that's all that button will do, which also is what this button will do. So if you notice I click here, I also create a new layer as well. So I'm going to delete these two layers. So this button is doing the same thing as this button. We also have the turn off all layers. So if I turn these all on now, I have my two layers on, and I say turn off all layers, ZBrush is going to go through each of the layers and turn them both off. So if you have multiple layers um, here, this one button will turn off every single layer and drop to zero. The next three buttons we have are selected, visible, and all. What these we are referring to are your subtools. So if I have only the selected button on, if you notice the selected mesh I have is my actual head. But then the eyeballs are their own separate subtool, and then I've created a hoodie and so forth. There are many subtools for this particular sculpt. So with selected button on, ZBrush is only going to send over, in this instance, the head and any layers that are on the head be used as blend shapes. If I have the visible button on, then ZBrush will send over all subtools that have the little eyeball on. As you can see, my subtools with the eyeballs on are only the top two. So these top two subtools would be the only ones that get sent into Maya. The all button would be sending all subtools. So it would send all 10 subtools that I have for this particular sculpt. So let's see what this can do. So I'm going to click on visible, which is again telling only to send this subtool and the top subtool. The only one that I have expressions on for blend shaping is the face. I do not have any expressions on the eyes to come over. I have a blank layer set but I don't have a blank layer set for my top sculpt. I have that smirk again and I have the eyes being closed. So again this is going to send each one of these layers into Maya as a blend shape. So that's what this final button does. The minute I click on this export blend shapes, ZBrush is going to run through the multiple subtools that there are and see which ones, because I'm using visible, have the little eyeball on 
and send these over to Maya at any subtool that has layers on it, these will automatically be created as a blend shape within Maya. As you can see, Maya is automatically launched, waiting to load the tools. I now have both my tools, subtools over here, ready to take a look at within Maya and see, as you notice, I have my blend shape. So here's my smirk. So as you see, that came over, and then I have my eyes closing. So with one click of the button, I've sent over multiple layers into Maya and have them acting as blend shapes. So now that you have a basic understanding of what this plugin can do, you can see the power of being able to send layers back and forth through Maya. And if I was to add a layer onto here, this would update on my blend shape going over to Maya. Anything I would want to add to another layer. And let, let's just change his nose up a little bit. So we'll switch to our move brushes and I'll just make his nose a little smaller and actually put that on a layer. So we'll go really extreme. So now I have a new layer that changes his nose size. And now if I hit my visible, because I only want to send over the two sub tools and export my blend shapes. ZBrush again is going through making sure all the sub tools that I have the little eyeball on are being sent over into Maya and then all new layers are being sent over as well. So we'll let, we'll let ZBrush run through this launching Maya which is already launched and now we're back over to Maya now we have our smirk we have our eyes closing, and now we have our change in nose. Thank you again for trying the newest plugin for Pixelogic, the Maya Blend Shape. Don't also forget to visit us at pixelogic.com for all news, events, upcoming releases. Please also stop by our amazing artist community at zbrushcentral.com. Thank you again, and happy ZBrushing.